Hi, and welcome to this webinar. Um, my name is Flavia Mori Castro. I am senior coordinator here at iForm Organics International, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the work that we do, trying to give you an overview of our organization. iForm Organics International is a membership based organization working to bring true sustainability to agriculture across the globe. It's really the largest organic community worldwide. Since 1972, we work together with our members, our affiliates in more than 100 countries, and we are leading change organically. We do that through the principles of organic agriculture. These are the roots from which our community grows and develops. They are the basis of our shared vision of the work that we do and all the strategy that guides us. These principles are four. The principle of health, ecology, fairness and care. It is inspired by these principles that we define organic agriculture which is a production system that sustains and enhances the health of soils, plants, animals, humans and our planet. It safeguards living ecological systems and cycles by working with them, not against them. It builds on relationships that ensure equity for our environment and for our communities. And it protects the well-being of current and future generations and ecosystems. Faced with so many challenges as we are now, we see organic agriculture as a tool to move from problems to solution. From greenhouse gas emissions, soil erosion and water crisis, to carbon sequestration, soil fertility and water retention by using our principles of health and ecology. From biodiversity loss towards agro-biodiversity through ecology and the principle of ecology and the principle of care. From poverty, lack of information and inequity to improved rural incomes, access to information and equity using our principles of fairness and care from inefficient policies to sustainable policies by implementing the principles of ecology and fairness. We connect the principles of health, ecology, fairness and care to our work through capacity building, awareness raising and advocacy activities. And how do we do that? We build capacity to facilitate the transition of farmers to organic agriculture. We raise awareness of the need for sustainable production and consumption. And we advocate for policies that are conducive to organic farming practices and sustainable development. We do that with our membership. But not only with our members, we work together with our membership and our affiliates, but also with uh, partners through projects that are implemented in over 35 countries. Some of our strategic partners are the European Commission, German Cooperation and the Swiss Agency for Development Cooperation. And we work on issues that matter. We focus, for example, on building resilience, supporting local markets, boosting skills and know-how, but especially we focus on amplifying organic leadership by working with organic leaders and stakeholders all over the world um, so that we can have a sustainable impact that is local and global. It is through research and communication that we raise awareness of the need to build sustainable uh, food systems. So 
we collect data, we um, issue expert statements, studies, and we also uh, publish um, in different ways uh, the work that is done. We mainstream the work that is done by uh, farmers all over the world through blog articles, through news uh, entries and various collaborative campaigns. This is how we build community. We connect our affiliates and our partners and um, this takes place both in person and uh, also through digital channels, our social media and website. But a very important part of the work that we do is uh, together with policymakers by providing them with platforms for um, exchange on good practices to promote organic agriculture, to support organic agriculture, so that we can build um, a conducive environment to organic um, farming for different practices that actually allowed sustainable development. So we want to transform farming and food systems and we also want to offer concrete tools so that uh, policymakers can uh, develop good organic regulations and good supporting policies that reflect the needs of the organic stakeholders all over the world. Every year we share information on key organic uh, statistics and the latest data for 2022 um, shows the continuous or so the steady increase in um, uh, key data for organic agriculture. The, not only the number of countries has increased, so we have now over 190 countries with organic activities, but also uh, hectares, producers, value of the sector. Um, there are over 74 million hectares currently under organic management. More than 3 million producers, invo producers involved in organic agriculture. And the global market value has uh, reached more than 120 billion euros. 18 countries have 10% or more of their agricultural land under organic management. And we have achieved a lot in the past 50 years. We have not only helped define organic agriculture, first by uh, setting the very first global uh, standards on organic agriculture in the 1970s, uh, but also identifying the principles of organic agriculture and eventually the definition of organic agriculture that we still refer to today. We have also helped harmonize regulations worldwide, especially through our um, the iPhone family of uh, standards. And we have been uniting the organic movement since 1977. There are regular events that we hold in order to make sure we bring organic stakeholders together so that they can set the agenda, define our priorities and guide the activities um, of the organic movement worldwide. And we have also managed to include organic agriculture in uh, the UN agenda. We uh, have been partnering with various UN agencies uh, so that we can ensure that our vision of the future as organic being implemented so that we can really make this change happen. And we also contribute to this uh, change by um, making sure farmers' voices are heard at high-level negotiations um, and um, events. So we help bring farmers' voices to set the international agenda. And most importantly, our affiliates can take active part in the work that we do, so they can help shape our strategy using their right to vote at our General uh, Assembly, but also networking in various events that regularly bring together the entire organic community. You can also be a part of the organic um, 
community, you can also be a part of this movement, you can um, help us uh, drive change by bringing your expertise and uh, also your context specific concerns and discussions so that we can increase our impact so that we can be more representative. So join us to inspire change organically. And with that, we conclude the webinar. I would like to thank you for your attention and also for your interest in iForm Organics International. Um, please make sure you check our website to look at the resources we make available there. If you have questions, uh, please do not hesitate to get in touch. You see my email uh, on the screen. Make sure um, you just get uh, in contact with us. I am really looking forward to, um, yeah, working together to lead change organically.